Well, good hit. Oh yeah, Greg, come this way. This is up near Middle Harbour. So we're fishing here today with some surface. In this video, I'm gonna find out whether it's still worth fishing after rains. And by surface, little itty bitty prawn. Bass day, sugar pen, 70 mil, standard treble still. This is day one and I was joined by the legend, Greg Doc Lewis himself. It was a big trek down here to this secluded part of the system. Yeah, I'd say like being up that way, you've got other dangers like crocs and sharks. That's it, that's the one Greg, that's the one. That's the money shot. We're just walking along the banks, fishing over these rocks encrusted with oysters. That's all right. We'll, we'll try out the front of that um, drain again, then we'll walk around. Yeah. Yeah, just a few missed top water slurps. So we went around the corner. Alas, we snagged the tree. Oh, but don't risk your life for it, it's just a lure. Nope. <laughs> That's a good thing. Nah, there's no point. Whoa. I shouldn't have grabbed onto that branch, I just snapped in my hand. Yeah. While this was going on, a fish stuck its fin out of the water. Look, what is that? I don't know what that is. This is Sydney, I mean, I should know what it is. I don't know what it was. I, I, I don't know what that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a bass or an EP fin. If anything, it's not a brim fin. No, it's not a brim. It's not an eel tail, is it? Could be an eel. But it didn't look like it looked like a fish. This mystery fish didn't hit my lure. What do you reckon it is? Put it down in the comments. Then it's a plastic bag that looks like a fish. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's a fish for sure, yeah. Oh, is this the creek? Yeah, I almost walked straight past the holy grail of Middle middle Harbour. Yeah. This creek looked really good. There was a bit of flow too. Well, good hit. Oh yeah, Greg, come this way. We on, yeah. I think it's a brim. That's a good hit on top. Oh, I knew surface would work, Greg. Yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's only barely hooked, don't I? I cast up against that, that, stick? that stick sticking out. And you got to pause it. If you pause it, you'll see the, the hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, release him that way. All right, see you later. Sent him back. Look at all these little crabs here. Let me catch one. Oh, too quick. Too quick for shroom. It's like whack-a-mole. But I'll get one of you little buggers. There he is. There he is. Oh, just outside of my reach. A few moments later. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Big claw. Oh, that hurts, that hurts. But, oh, 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 oh. Look at that, purple crab, black back. Just taking a note of what's up here. All right, setting free. Now it was Greg's turn. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Greg. Yes. That's it, mate. That is it. Greg onto a Sydney. Brembo, right on top two. I was stoked. She ain't no Jack, Greg, but <laughs> I bet she was fun. She's no Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Surface fish, they're always good fish. Yeah. This one's nice and silver. Yeah. The water behind looks brown, but that's only because of the rain. Oh, yeah, got it? Yeah. Here we 
go. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Greg. Nice colour. All right, I'll go and let him go out the way there. You get another one. Yeah. So that's my time with Greg, and that concludes day one. Back for day two. Last time I was here, I was fishing out the front with Greg. I thought I'd come back and see what the effects of the rain did to this place. Just looking at it, the water looked way murkier. All right, just having another cast on this side here. Punch it across. Wind sweeping across my side here, my left. Definitely a lot more fresh in the system after those flooding rains. Let's try this little pocket here, right against that sunken tree branch. It can't be deep here. No, mm. Nothing swam in, I guess. Let's walk out to the mouth again. So, so far it looks like everything's changed. I'm just fanning my casts out. Just like last time. There's a bit of a ripple on the water, so I can't see any action. If there's any surface action out here. It's going to be very hard to detect. Yeah, I see no signs of fish. I refuse to believe that there's no fish here. Oh, there we go. There's finally a hit there. Only a little hit, but I definitely got a hit. Just the one, but This little here just got a little swipe. Plenty of chop on the water. I'm wondering whether I should change to a popper. All right, off goes the Bastet Sugar Pen. It's just tangled on my fingers there. And I've just tied on a Berkeley Pop, Pop 50. Oh man, it's not looking good. It is so not looking good. I'm gonna try that little ledge earlier. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna swap to a plastic. Uh, this. This little Atomic looks a bit like a Lucky Craft Sammy, but a small one. The NW Pencil. This one's a 3B Scum Dog. So the data that we've gathered so far, surface isn't very good after rains. I mean, I already knew that, but if you guys were wondering. We're coming back this way. This yellow surface stick bait, it's not doing the business for me. It's not working. I, you know, it, it makes sense. I wouldn't normally throw this in brown water as well. I normally wouldn't throw this in brown river water. I'd be throwing this off sand for whiting, but, but it was a useful experiment anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a plastic and it's going to have to be brown. I feel most confident with that right here. Cut that off. Snip. Double snip. Okay, that's gone off. Let's go find me a Z-Man Bloodworms. Alright, we've got a paddle tail. I kind of want to use a grub though. I'm going to be using grubs, bloodworm first up. Oh, here we go. Plastic. Okay, I can't cast as far. That's no good. That'll have to do though. Yeah, it's shallow as I thought. Okay, I'm going to reset that drag. It's going to be heavier on the plastic with a single hook. To set that hook into its jaw. Here we go. Straight on. Ah, oh, bugger. That was straight on. I had a bit too much slack in a line. Stick fish, Christmas fish. Where is it? Can I just flick this off? All right, don't try this at home. There you go. You gotta be careful if you do that. You could tip your rod. <laughs> Big run. Ha <laughs> fighting like a whiting. What's this? What's what's a call for a whiting here? Yep, shroom. You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's a little brim. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> I was just out of sight. I put position the camera in the wrong place. Little beautiful silver yellow fin. We'll let him go. Wonderful sleeves. Look at all that. Thank you very much. Now let's go put on some more gel scent there because that's what I was using on top of that Z man. Yeah, that's the stuff. Just put it on, man. Put it on liberally. And that was just out the front here on this flat. Man, this mud's killing me. That's what happens when you have the right lure. 
Look at that. Hey. I wound onto that and that's a good that's a good fish, but there's rocks everywhere here. That's a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Looks silver. What is it? What is that? That's a whiting. The surf slew wasn't doing the business for me. And whiting certainly love surf slewers. That's a dark one. Hey, that's not bad. Look at that, it's all muddy and everything. Yeah, boy. There you have it. Still worth fishing after flood rains, but you may have to work a little harder. Hit the like if you enjoyed this video and keep watching. This next one's a fishing challenge. With a little less plastic.